Hello friends, this video on p-block elements part 37 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Next, we'll talk about the properties of sulfuric acid. Proper sulfuric acid you must have seen is again, if you see, the colorless liquid. It doesn't have any smell also. It is colorless, odorless, oily liquid at uh, STP. So it is colorless, odorless oily liquid at STP okay it frees at uh, 283 Kelvin that is a freezing point and if you want to boil this it will boil at 611 Kelvin it can easily dissolve in water and it generates large amount of heat when it dissolves in water and thus when you want to dilute sulfuric acid extra care has to be taken you have to dissolve this uh, concentrated sulfuric acid in the water very slowly and you have to do constant stirring we have seen that it has very low volatility it's not volatile it is highly acidic highly acidic considered as one of the strongest acid it has strong affinity for water it has strong affinity for water and that's why it is a, a dehydrating agent in fact in the last uh, uh, Step also we have seen in the manufacture of sulfuric acid itself we are, we are using uh, the sulfuric acid to remove water from SO2, sulfur dioxide gas, right? And it acts as oxidizing agent, highly acidic, acts as, acts as oxidizing agent, okay? So till now we have discussed uh, these things, as I told it is uh, it is hygroscopic, hygroscopic that is it, it sucks water, it is water attracting, it absorbs moisture from the air, okay, and it is uh, highly viscous because of the presence of hydrogen bonding, highly viscous because of hydrogen bonding. And that's all we have for the properties of sulfuric acid uh, and let's talk about how it uh, uh, behaves. So if you have sulfuric acid, when it uh, reacts with a little bit of water also, it forms H3O plus ions and HSO4 minus. Very very strong acid. And the K value is very less, it's almost about 10 to the power 3. It is the disassociation constant for this, it's very very high. If you take HSO4 minus here, it will again react with water, it will also give uh, a hydronium ion and sulphate ion but the Ka will be less, Ka is almost 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 2, this is less. That means this reaction, first reaction is more more favorable than second reaction, correct. So also why H2SO4 is not that stable but HSO4- minus is more stable, it dissociates immediately but HSO4- minus and so 4 minus, if you compare the stability is almost same. It dissociates but not that strong, right? Maybe uh, in this case almost all the H2SO4 particles uh, or all the H2SO4 molecules dissociates into hydronium ions and HSO4 minus ion. But in this case maybe 20% or 30% of the HSO4 minus will dissociate to hydronium ions and SO4 to minus ions. Okay, large value of K means more acidic character. That means K is nothing but my dissociation constant. So more dissociation constant, more acidic character. So this means H2SO4 is more is a stronger acid than HSO4 minus. Okay. Now when you talk about the salt formation, this H2SO4 actually it forms two types of sulfates. Actually, the normal sulfates, and it also forms acid sulfates. It forms two types of sulfates. Normal sulfates, I can take example of Na2SO4, Cu2SO4, something like that. Talk about the acid sulfate, NaHSO4. These are the sulfates it forms. And we have seen this H2SO4 actually, end of the day, gives one and two hydronium ions. H2SO4 gives HSO4 minus and one hydronium ions. And this HSO4 minus again gives one hydronium ion. So there are two hydronium ions for one mole of sulfuric acid. So it is called dibasic acid. It 
okay because it gives two sul uh, hydronium ion so to cause neutralization of one mole of sulfuric acid we need two moles of sodium hydroxide correct because it gives two moles of hydronium ion so we call it dibasic acid so now let's see some of the reactions of uh, these uh, sulfuric acid to see the reactions of this sulfuric acid with the base For example i have sodium hydroxide as a base and this sulfuric acid will form salt so uh, acid base acid uh, acid base reaction okay so for example uh, copper oxide also you can take you react with sulfuric acid you see so 4 and what the typical acid base reaction okay this sulfuric acid will also react with carbonates Na2CO3 if you react with sulfuric acid you give Na2SO4 and water and carbon dioxide this is my reaction of sulfuric acid with car carbonates and so hydrogen carbonate also I can take NaSCO3 I can react with sulfuric acid you get my NaHSO4 and water and carbon dioxide. This sulfuric acid also react with sulfites and sulfides. So if you see sulfite, for example, MgSO4 or MgSO3 is sulfide, you react with sulfuric acid, you get MgSO4 water and SO2 iron sulfide you react with sulfuric acid you get FeSO4 H2S this sulfuric acid also reacts with metal magnesium react with sulfuric acid you get MgSO4 hydrogen zinc react with sulfuric acid zinc sulfate and hydrogen acid please note this dilute sulfuric acid will not react with metals that are below the hydrogen in the activity series okay so these are my reactions of sulfuric acid sulfuric acid also acts as a very strong oxidizing agent oxy Dizing agent. So if you see this oxidizing agent, for example, carbon, you react with sulfuric acid concentrated, you get carbon dioxide. Zero to plus four state. Obviously, you get SO2 and water also. Sulfur itself can react with sulfuric acid, will form SO2 plus 0 to plus 4 oxidation state so it, it acts as a very strong oxidizing agent it strong acts as a very strong dehydrating agent also we explained this actually so in fact uh, sulfur dioxide which has water molecules or moist sulfur dioxide you can make it dry using sulfuric acid because sulfuric acid has a huge affinity for water and it absorbs water very very easily okay this sulfuric acid also reacts with uh, there's so many reactions for example FeCl3 when you react with sulfuric acid you get HCl and Fe2SO4 there's so many reactions of sulfuric acid and this concentrated sulfuric acid acts as a strong dehydrating agent we have told that so it is such a strong dehydrating agent that it removes water from the organic compound for example I have this organic compound and from this if you pass the sulfuric acid you get carbon and water in fact uh, charring of sugar charring action on this car carbohydrate this is called charring action on this carbohydrate in fact paper cotton sugar they all charred that means they are burned and blackened when they brought in contact with concentrated sulfuric acid you take some sulfuric acid and put some sugar 
you'll see a huge reaction there. They call Chad black mass. Okay. Now let's see the uses of uh, sulfuric acid. Again, sulfuric acid is called the king of all chemicals. It has very important use in the industrial uh, world. It is used to manufacture a lot of other compounds like fertilizers, uh, petroleum refining, it is used to make dyes and paint, used to make detergent, it is used in the metallurgical application, used to make storage battery, used in labs a lot, used for explosives, this explosives, a lot of places this sulfuric acid is used. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.